Hello everyone, it's Kit here and we are here with a create a sim challenge. Today we are creating the first generation of the sims in bloom. Um, first gen is Daisy and her color theme is white and yellow. Um, so we went ahead and named her Daisy at Bloomington and gave her her traits. Um, so for her face, um, I was actually really liking the random sim that it gave us. So we did that. I changed her nose because I wanted a unique nose. I wanted, um, like a more pronounced bridge and I'm not sure that I really accomplished that, but I tried my best. Um, and I think I did slightly accomplish it. Um, as far as the rest of her face and her skin details, I was going for a very fresh look. So the Sims in Bloom is a very, very like sweet challenge. So, um, I just felt like all of the it's especially the founding um, sim should just have a very sweet appearance. Um, so yeah, I gave her some freckles because I figured she would be out in the sun gardening. And as far as her makeup, I gave her some light eyeshadow. I did go a little bit heavier, as you'll see, on the eyeliner and mascara. But... I didn't do like a lot of blush and lipstick. I kept the lips very neutral and the blush as well. And I gave her a cute little um, gap in her teeth, you'll see. I also went back in her skin details later and made it to where they're visible. Yeah, right there. Um, for her hair, so I typically go for long hair. I always... Um, I just lean towards long hair. I feel like it's very feminine and flowy. But for her, I, I tried a little bit of everything. Some updos, some down, and I settled on this, um, this short hair right here with the bangs. I thought the bangs suited her so well. Um, it's very cute, very feminine, um, but also easily manageable. And I feel like that's kind of a theme with her. Um, very practical and kind of effortless, maybe. Um, with her clothes, I tried to go very feminine, but also very casual, very, um, not too much effort, not, uh, what is the word? High maintenance. She's not very, she's very low maintenance. Um, you'll see me go back and forth through um, outfit categories and that's because I will find something that I like when I'm going through the outfits but not necessarily for that category so I'll switch back and forth a couple of times you'll notice um, anytime I saw something with daisies on it I had to put it on her I definitely tried to find things with daisies on them um, I do wish that I had gone a little bit more on the white side um, just because Daisy's air is supposed to be yellow and green. Um, that's the theme of her air. So I feel like she would be more white with yellow accents and then her daughter more yellow with green accents and then her daughter, you know, green with whatever color comes next accent. Um, but I kind of just uh, took the yellow and white equally with her, as you'll see. Um, so right now we are on hot weather and just kind of going back and forth. The swimsuits, I kind of spent a lot of time. <laughs> I just watched this over again. And this swimsuit right here with the daisies, the two-piece, I ended up putting on her, but I ended up giving her two swimsuits. 
and I prefer this uh, one piece over that two piece um, and I did keep that that one piece on her I just didn't show it to you in the final you'll see I'm not sure why I didn't show all the outfits in the final for her um, athletic wear you'll also notice later on I tend to give my sims um, two sets of athletic wear one for yoga and one for like running or lifting weights um, I feel like it just it just adds a little bit just a little bit extra to the game um, obviously you can do yoga in the um, in your running outfit um, but I don't know I think it's fun to add add outfits for different activities even though they're in the same category another thing uh, for her um, formal wear I typically go for long dresses but I ended up settling on a shorter dress for her um, just this midi dress with uh, some heels And then after this, you'll see that I'm just putting some finishing touches on a few outfits. Um, I also have, still have the active wear, I believe, to do and possibly um, the night wear, the pajamas. Um, yeah, so here's the active wear, you'll see. Um, I go back and forth from the yoga outfit to the running outfit, deciding which one gets what. Gets what. Um, again, just like the other outfits, I'll I'll go through and I'll see some things and I'll be like, oh wait, that looks good. That would look good as this. So you can see that I I uh, put on some pants that I thought were leggings, and I was like, no, but they look like pajamas and they would be cute. So I moved over to the nightwear and and out of them there. Um, I also had this daisy chain, um, this daisy choker necklace that I loved, so I added it to most outfits. And yeah, here is the finished results. There, as you can see, there are multiple outfits in a few categories, and I'm not sure why I didn't show them, but I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. I will post her in the gallery and try and remember to post as much cc as i can in the description um i'll see you next time bye